Hi everybody, it's Robin from Talks From The Heart. So this is a collab with Nessie at Nessie Plans. Her and I have become friends and I said to her one day, just off the cuff, I said, hey, do you wanna do a collab? And she's like, yeah. And I said, let's do something different because we don't really use the same stickers um, or anything like that. And in the day, and I'm gonna say, you know, even just a year ago, let me, um, hopefully you can see me okay. Um, even just a year ago, collabs were like, oh, let's use the same sticker kit. Rachel and I did that one and it was super fun. Um, and I said, you know what, let's, let's do a Q and A. I'll send you questions, you send me questions, and we won't open them until we're on camera. And she's like, okay, and then let's send each other some um, dividers. I frankly don't know how she did this. Oh, she did stickers. Okay, and these are the gorgeous dividers that she did for me. Beautiful. Look at my names on there. All right, it's upside down. It's backwards. Okay. I think she took a piece of vellum. Oh, it's cardstock. And then she just did initial stickers. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, here's a piece of acetate, gorgeous, with some Simply Gilded Bow Seals. And then, so these are just beautiful. Thank you so much. I love them. And then she also sent me some other happy mail, which you will see in a future video. So, all right. So I have not, this is a sealed envelope. I have not opened it. I haven't, I can't see through it. <laughs> and, so I'm going to open it on camera and read her questions and I'm going to answer them. So there, it's very, um, it's very unplanned. I have zero clue what she sent me. Zero clue. I'm excited. Okay. And it was licked shut. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Me, 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 me. No. Okay, questions. <laughs> Nessie, you're so funny. Questions for Robin. All right, and I'm going to fold. I'm going to fold it so I only see half of it right now. Okay, wait, she said a lot. Hang on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, so that was about the max. And um, all right, so what, okay, let me see. What would be your abs, oh my God. Okay, you guys, I sent her the exact same question and it was the first question. This is hilarious. Oh my gosh, it's so funny. Okay, what would be your absolute dream vacation? No vague answers, details like place, what you want to do and see there and how long you'd stay. Okay, I've said this before and it's the straight up truth. My fantasy dream vacation would, I, I need to sit up more, hang on. This shirt really does a number on my, my girls. Okay, my dream vacation is New York City, but there's a caveat. It has to be with a man who adores me, who's a multimillionaire, because I know how to spend the, the money, and he takes me everywhere in a chauffeured car, doesn't have to be a limousine, so that I, because I have parking anxiety, so if you say, oh, I wanna go to a concert, the first thing that flips through my mind is, oh my gosh, where am I going to park? The crowd, the parking crowd. So it has to be with New York City where we go to a, a play, not much for musicals. Um, we go shopping for sure at Louis Vuitton and um, he shuttles me around in a really nice car with the driver so that we don't have to worry about parking. And then we go to a fantastic lunch where we need a fork and a knife and we're ushered in because, you know, they know he's rich. I know this is so materialistic, you guys. <laughs> so materialistic. And then at night we get all dolled up and dressed up and we go to dinner, a super, super gorgeous dinner. And we stay in a beautiful hotel, maybe the penthouse, you know. And of course, me buying nothing with my own money, it's all on his dime. Dream vacation. I hope that was detailed enough for you, Nessie. Okay. Um, and you know, it's, it's, I don't think that will ever happen. But if it does, oh my gosh, I will be so excited. All right. What was your favorite age for each of your kids as they were growing up and why? Mm. Okay, let's start with, let's start with Alexander. 
Alexander was the cutest baby. And I'm not much, well, they were both cute in my eyes. Um, I'm going to say that I love the toddler years for both of them. They learned how to walk, talk, communicate. Their personalities were starting to come out. And um, they were so much fun then. And it was also the season where I could dress them and they wouldn't argue with me. <laughs> so, all right, next one. What makes someone a good friend to you? Qualities and attitudes. Or maybe she meant attributes. I don't know. Um, man, and you know, I've thought about this because everybody sometimes pressures me to get a boyfriend. And I have to also think of that individual as a friend first, in my opinion. So I'm going to say a friend, male or female, uh, we laugh, has a really good sense of humor where I can just like call them on their shit and we just laugh about it because I don't mean it in a mean spirited way. Um, they can take teasing. I can take teasing and none of it's done in a mean spirited way. It's done loving and to have a good time. Uh, someone who um, like knows themselves and is good and solid in that and they stand in their own truth. And when I stand in my own truth, they don't like pressure me to change or minimize my feelings or what I hold to be true or important. Um, and also, oh my leg just sorry. Also somebody who loves good conversation. Good conversation, man. I mean, that is so important and also super hard to find in a male, I think, in my opinion. So, yeah. And then, of course, loves dogs. I'm not much for travel. I'm learning that about myself. I'm really much a homebody. But you can be a homebody and not be boring, you know. So I, I'm going to say also somebody who enjoys being at home but then enjoys a good conversation, a good meal, and then also appreciates their own alone time because I got I got to re, I've got to plug my battery back in and get recharged when I spend a lot of time with people, and so that's super important with for me because if I don't, I get real cranky, real cranky. Okay, um, what are your goals as a grandma? Also, what would you prefer to be called by your grandbaby, grandma, nana? We, my daughter and I discussed this in nan. Nona, Nona is an Italian or Greek um, word for grandma, but the problem with Nona is I wanted to travel across to Olivia's kids too, and his, her husband, um, Garrison, his family called his grandma Nona, so I kind of feel like I'd be overstepping, so I'm good with grandma. I call my grandma grandma and I love it. And so I'm going to say grandma and my goals are to be somebody and I actually just talked about this in my journal video. Um, my goals are to be somebody that that person can come to. And I, even if I don't agree or if I can't relate, like say they're um, this girl is super nature and not a princess like I am. <laughs> Um, I can really, I can just appreciate that and love on her no matter what. And she knows that I'm a really fun, safe place to come and chat with and share her experiences with and her feelings. And no matter what's going to happen, she, she'll never doubt my love. She'll never doubt that she's welcome in my home anytime. And, um, she'll never ever, she'll always get a hug coming and going. And you know, the other thing my grandma always had was a $20 bill in her pocket. I knew that. <laughs> So I might try to be that grandma. I don't know. I, I'm i such, I'm so, I kind of go overboard with giving sometimes. So I have to tone that down, I think. So, yeah. Okay. In your experience as, as a successful planner YouTuber. Wow. Thank you, Nessie. Um, what specific things make a good YouTube channel? Um, okay. This is technical. Always, dude. Don't share stuff on a video and then you don't link it. That drives me bonkers. So always have your description box as complete as you can get it. Legit, if you cannot remember somebody, you cannot remember a shop where you got something from, that's fair. I mean, that's happened to me. Um, also be super real. Edit, edit, edit. I've said this in other videos. If you're coughing, please edit that out. I mean, I just think that's just common sense. Uh, you know, try not to be boring, work on different things, try different types of videos, different styles, 
and um, I think that's what makes a good that's what makes it fun for me to watch somebody is when I know they're being real with me when they when they and I lean in because as if I'm telling you guys a secret when they um, like share like just tidbits and then leave you guessing and you're like you know because I'm nosy I want to know all or at least as much as I can know to connect the dots that drives me nuts if you're not if you're not going to share enough to at least appease my curiosity then don't share it at all so to me that you know is part of keeping it real okay no thinking quick answer on this one favorite planner of all time oh da personal rings personal rings yeah personal rings i keep going back to it and personal rings and i blame you nessie i blame you for my new love for personal rings she does such a great job with hers um is there a planner or planning system that you've never tried that you might want to if there is i don't know about it because i've tried wonderland 222 I've tried the Stalogy. I mean, I guess bullet journaling where I draw my own stuff, but you guys do not. I don't even want to look at that. It would be like Romper Room and Sesame Street having a baby. It And Stickman. Oh, yeah. And Hangman. All three of those converging together and having a kid. I can't draw. I can't draw a straight line. I can cut a straight line, which is really weird, but I can't draw a straight line. So I would say bullet journaling. Um... And I, well, it says, is there a planner or planning system that you've never tried that you might want to? I've never tried it, but I don't want to. Okay. Do you think social media can be beneficial? I think it can if you are mature enough to handle it. And I'm one of those people that I've clearly learned over the last couple of years that I struggle, that I'm not, my self-esteem is not where it is, where I can just shake things off. I've never had anybody be mean to me. Um, I don't know that I'd want that to happen because I'm not, I'm not sure that the meek and timid Robin would come out. I think the ragey Robin would come out because I don't take any crap. Um, but I also absorb a lot of stuff that it's like, why am I, why am I worried about one of the Kardashians who has a closet that echoes? I wouldn't even want that much stuff in my life. I would be like so stressed out. So I think it's beneficial to share information. For instance, like Nessie and I PR for a lot of shops and I always love to know when I don't have to pay full price. And so that information is out there and I think that's beneficial, but you also have to know, okay, maybe this week or maybe this sale isn't the sale I shop at because I'm low on money. Again, part of maturity level. So I personally think that you have to really, really know yourself and have amazing self-esteem to be able to handle social media correctly. So we, remember, it's still super, super new and we don't even know the true ramifications of social media on just even our psyche. I know it affects people's self-esteem. I mean, yeah, there's people that definitely feel less than and then some are driven to suicide and I, that just makes me sick to my stomach. I, I'm very sad about that. So I think, I think that I wouldn't know a lot of people the way I know them without social media. So I think that's a good side of it. But then I think, you know, bragging, making people feel less than and oh, look at me and I've airbrushed my perf my already perfect body. I've airbrushed it now. So, you know, if you don't look like this, then, you know, poo, -poo, -poo you know, I, I'm not. Sh and that's another thing is look at I even just did it right now. I think people characterize other people on social media and their intent. And we don't even know those people just like. People will say, oh, I hate Biden. Oh, I hate Trump. Um, oh, gosh, I'm stepping in it with this one. But I try not to use the word hate with people I don't know personally. So I hope that answer was fun. Um, okay, three more. What are your fa What is your favorite season and why? Where I live, it never snows, so we have to drive about an hour and a half to see it or go snowboarding. I would never go snowboarding. Um, I can break my leg all by myself at home, which I will not. <laughs> so as someone who lives in a place with all four seasons, what is your favorite and why? I'm going to say sp spring, but it never lasts long enough. Every time the, the heat hits, all of a sudden we're like, I'm hot. And 
you know, we don't realize we've had a month and a half of gorgeous, you know, 65 to 72 weather with no humidity and blue skies. Um, and then I love fall, but um, I, and I like both of those seasons because the temperature is mild. I don't like summer because it's hot and muggy. And I don't like winter because I just hate snow and ice. I'm terrified of falling on it. And you know what I say about, and it rains a lot in the spring, but you know what I say about rain? I always say, you don't have to shovel rain. So I never bitch about rain. Um, and so, I, yeah, I'm going to say spring and fall. I know that wasn't one, that was two. Um, I also kind of get this feeling of dread in the fall because then I know the holidays are coming up and that costs me a lot of money. And then I get stressed out about that. And I said in my journal video, if you watched it, I'm amazing at awfulizing the future and not looking at the present and just being happy and joyful in the present. So let's call it my favorite is spring. Okay. If you could have any superpower, what would it be? It would be, I would be invisible. I <laughs> totally, I would be, I would go invisible and I would creep into people's houses and listen to what they're saying. <laughs> oh, you just got to peek at the dark side. <laughs> Yep, that's what I would do. I would totally do that. If I was, if I had the power to be invisible, I, that's how I would use it. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm embarrassed. Okay, what's your favorite book? The book you read over and over. I don't reread books. Um, I've never reread a book. Uh, my favorite book though of all time is Need to Know by Karen Cleveland. Uh, true story, I saw her on a morning news show and she had written her first book while she was on maternity leave with her first child. And she is, Karen Cleveland is a real live, in real life, a CIA agent. And this book is so good and it leaves you hanging. And the last like two chapters, you just want to stay home from work so you can finish the book because it's so good, so good. And I've said that for years. I started in... I, I read that book in February of 2018, and I love it so much. So it's Need to Know by Karen Cleveland. I will link it specifically below, um, and you can get it on Amazon. I will warn you, though, if you order the paperback, you know, go to your library first, and you can you can get the hardback probably. If you order the paperback, it is paperbacky print, and I, I have that because I'm transcribing that book, and I'm currently still working on that. Um, the print is really small. So I think... I love that book. I love that book so much. Okay, that's it. I hope you guys had fun. Um, I will link Nessie's video below. And thank you so much, Nessie, for these gorgeous dividers for my personal rings, which is my favorite planner. Um, I had fun. This was really, really fun and very unexpected. And how funny is that, that our first question was exactly the same. So thank you so much, Nessie, for being an authentic, real YouTuber that um, I've latched on to. So like my other friends, Planner Mumsy and Sarah Martinez, who we hope someday, from my lips to God's ears, she comes back to YouTube. And Elvira, she has a channel too. I don't think she will ever make another video, but these are all people that are really, I can vouch for behind the scenes. They're exactly the same as they are on videos. So, all right. Thanks everybody for watching. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and always enjoy today. Bye everybody.